As a matter of fact, it was an Italian producer, Enrico Mozen, who uh, uh, put us in contact. He, he called me just one day and told uh, me uh, that uh, they have this Iron movie film festival and what I think about the idea to make music with uh, François Rulant trio and the great voices of, Bul of Bulgaria and of course I knew François he's a very famous uh, French jazz uh, player and I thought okay let, let me see the film <laughs> Bulgarian voice for us it was mythic, really. Uh, nobody played with uh, Bulgarian voice, but everybody knows uh, the records. You know. So I was very excited, but uh, afraid also. So I, I called two friends, uh, a saxophonist and a bass, because I, wa I didn't want to be alone. I, I want to be with, fr with very good musicians, friends of mine, where I can uh, speak with them and, and find solutions. Together. We have uh, such outstanding uh, musicians as uh, Christophe Mounio on uh, saxophones and uh, also Bruno Chéminard on the double bass. Bruno Chéminard is really a legend for the instrument. Uh, everybody knows him and he's a great musician. They're, they're very different in character, both of them, uh, but they're uh, both equally great as. Uh, uh, music improvisers as uh, musicians and as uh, co-authors actually of the, uh, the whole show. Probably there are uh, uh, many Bulgarian singers that could sing uh, traditional music, but this is the only one choir that it's uh, so open for a new project, so we could do that together. Yeah, you know, we, we played this uh, ten years before. It was uh, one of the one of the best projects I did, really, because there was this uh, meeting uh, very strong with Ilya, who is uh, this kind of a friend. No? And uh, with the, the women, because they were very glad to do this project. It, it was different. They were in, we were in Italy. It was very nice. We, we spent four days together. It was very nice. And so yesterday when we arrived, I find one more the kindness of every a uh, woman who sings. What I like about them is that uh, not they enjoy enormously to make music and uh, I'm very honored to be their conductor but also because they're very open to uh, different projects.
I wrote some music uh, which fits with the mood of, Bulg of Bulgarian music. Because Bulgarian music is very uh, strong, you know, so when they, sh they sing, it's uh, very strong. So sometimes we don't need this strongness, we just need some uh, quiet things and almost nothing. Well, so we have to, to um, uh, we have to find the, the different solution. And it's very interesting because Ilya is very open mind and he, when I ask him some new thing, he say, okay, let's try this and he find the solution with me. Uh, Bulgarian rhythm in folklore is very, very interesting with all, uh, our measure 5, 8, 7, 8, 11, 16, etc. Uh, a pair of rhythms and of course jazz musicians uh, of Western Europe are very well aware that this is an incredible richness of Bulgarian folklore and they explore it, they use it in jazz, like in old times they prove it with that and many others since. And I think this is a very common ground on which we play and we develop our ideas. Rhythmic language, very, very special here in this kind. Uh, in, as in Turkey or in Greece, uh, there is 7-8 and things. But now um, we learn, uh, everybody now is world music, you know, so if you want to work on this music, uh, since 20, 20 years and more, this music is, is known by even young musicians. So they know how to play the, those special bars. You know. the images of the film and vice versa the image of the film uh, creates special emotion to the music so when we project film and when we sing this song uh, even if, if there's a song a cappella that we sang many times like hundreds of times uh, on stage uh, through many years they sound differently they sound differently because there is something that is happening actually when there is the film when, when, you, when you see the, uh, the face of the main characters When Bulgarian voice plays, it's a very strong part of the movie because we have this uh, sadness, or you know, this uh, uh, I don't know what to say. Um, I don't remember in French. Dramatic, yes, dramatic effect. And I think there is some drama on the music of Bulgarian voice. When we work with traditional music, it's always the same problem because we have to respect the beauty of this music. We don't have to, to change everything. We arrive and we have uh, each uh, part has to, to be free and uh, uh, nice with the music. So sometimes there is a real traditional thing where we, we play inside of the voice, uh, the, the different voice of the Garia. And uh, sometimes we play alone. And sometimes we play together with, um, with effects, voice effects. So uh, with Ilya, uh, who is the director of the Bulgarian voice, uh, we, we find some solutions because we have a movie. So the movie says something to the, to the audience. Uh, it's a story. So we have to follow the movie. 
and uh, sometimes um, uh, we find some musical thing very very uh, simple but uh, uh, effective on the, on the movie. Non, vous me laissez seul. Parce que non, non, si je suis, c'est pas bon. On va faire, on va faire ça. Attends voir. Ah, ça fait ça. Là, ça va. Il faut être suivi dans le temps. Soit les sopranos le plus aigu. Ouais, oui, c'est ça qui faut. I believe that if you want to preserve. Uh, our art in the 21st century, we should find another art forms. The Bulgarian folklore through the jazz fertilize really the French silent movie and I truly believe that this is a real contemporary European art. For the moment it's one of the best souvenirs I have in my life of musician, really one of the best. Smart,